Well, I thought it was important to start my talk by showing the increased rate in autism over the past 20 years. 20 years ago, and even much longer, we all thought of autism as being an incredibly rare, maybe like weird variant of schizophrenia. And to this day, most children with autism are treated in subspecialty clinics, like the one that I work at. The trouble is that now that nearly 3% of children in the United States have autism, everybody in this room really needs to know how to treat them, because I guarantee you will see them. Um, so this is related to one of the pretest questions. Uh, whenever anything in medicine goes up and up and up, we have to wonder, well, what the heck is going on? Um, the, the, there are multiple reasons for why we're seeing big increases in the rates in autism, from less than 1% 20 years ago to nearly 3% today. But the main one is increased awareness and screening. I'll remind you that it was only in 2006 when the American Academy of Pediatrics uh, started to encourage universal screening, meaning that now at every well child 18 and 20, 24 month visit, the pediatrician is supposed to go through a standardized checklist to catch children early. Before pediatricians were doing this, it was easy to recognize the kids who were really severely affected. So the kids who weren't talking at all, the kids who were in the corner on the playground, who maybe started crying when other kids came up to them, but we weren't really catching that milder end of the spectrum. Um, the other point worth knowing is that cri uh, diagnostic criteria for autism have changed tremendously uh, since it was first introduced in 1980, really with a trend towards becoming much more broad, such that we're capturing more and more children on the milder end of the spectrum.